it's 4 o'clock. Uh, let me open the uh, uh, August 6 meeting of the Northampton License Commission. Um, all our members are present. Um, we are uh, audio and video recording this meeting. Um, and at this time, um, that's for any public comment on any issues uh, uh, not on the agenda or on the agenda if you don't want to wait. Uh, seeing none, I'll move on to the uh, first item application uh, for a license to sell a farmer's market at the Three County Fair. Uh, we have um, how many vendors? Uh, Farm Goddard's Red Harm, Redhead Farm, and Harvard Vineyard and Winery. So somebody wants to speak to this application? I'm Bruce Shalkross, I'm the manager of the Three County Fair, and this is a similar event we've done the past two years. Uh, these two vendors were at the, at the last year's fair and both did an excellent job uh, just, you know, selling their product. <coughs> um, and uh, it's a, been a nice addition to the fair. We have uh, cheese uh, tasting, uh, using veneer, and, uh, and then the wine, and uh, it's been very successful the past couple of years uh, for the, the two local participants. Right, and this has happened uh, before. So, uh, Cindy, we have the um, all the items, including the MDAR, for both of these farm yeah, uh, wineries. Okay. Um, uh, I have no uh, further questions for Mr. Shawcross. No questions. I, I just want a clarification of who, who are the principals? Uh, Bruce and have, have met in the past, and. Uh, um, He's obviously speaking on behalf of someone else. I just wanted to know who the principals were. Of the Three County Fair? No, no, no. Of, of uh, the Red Hand Farm doing business as Mineral Hills Winery and Hardwick Vineyard. And, and uh, Mineral Hills is Larry Goddard and uh, the Goddard family. Uh, and they're right in Northampton. Hardwick Winery is over in Hardwick. And uh, that is... Uh, uh, and Jennifer, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Sam, Sam Lucas, yeah. So, and uh, then that, that there's been no change in the ownership of the other one. And and these are, are both uh, both entities that have appeared in the past. I wasn't here in the past. Yeah, they, they both they both have been here in the past. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to see if they had a past history the, with the, the Farmer Winery was a recent thing. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually you know, and things sure. here. So they. Um, they have to get a certificate from the Department of Agriculture <coughs> that, sure. they're, um, that they're legit. And then they come and they sell farmers markets or events like this. Yeah. It's getting the MDAR from the state. It, it is, usually the, is the, the, the impediment. Well, okay. yeah, just the thing that they I just want to educate myself. It takes a longest amount of time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, any other questions for Mr. Shalcross then? I'll take a motion. I'll move to approve the application. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next item is an application for a common victual license, Bondi, Saigon, uh, located at 18 Main Street in Northampton. Proposed manager owner is uh, Chuang Song. So, um, you're opening a restaurant at 18 Main Street. Yes, sir. Tell us uh, what your, what your, a little bit about your plans for the restaurant. It's going to be um, a, a Vietnamese uh, restaurant. We sell Vietnamese sandwiches, pho, and a um, few, uh, a, a small, smaller menu um, on 18 Main Street. Where exactly is 18? It's a, uh, it's. The shop right next to Loco Burger, to the right area you're facing. Okay. Yeah. What used to be in there? Wasn't there? There used to be another Vietnamese restaurant there. Really? Yeah. Um, okay, so you're going to have a 50 seat dining room, I see here, yes. and um, you have everything else in, uh, and you're not applying for any other type of license at this time? No, no. Okay. Uh, I have, uh, okay, everything seems to be here. Any questions uh, for Mr. Sun? Mr. Or Mr. Chuang, sorry. Just best of luck. Thank you. Thanks. 
Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the common deck license with Bonnie Saigon. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks. Thank you. Uh, next item, application for short-term land and malt license, JJ's Tavern. Uh, the event is the Oktoberfest on September 27th, and this would be in the rear parking lot at 99 Main Street in Florence. Hi, uh, could you just identify John Newman, record? owner of JJ's. Okay. I'm sorry, could you say that? John again? Newman. Thank you. And um, tell us a little bit about your event. Well, we're trying to get a, another community event up in Florence. They do a Florence night out twice a year now, and uh, it gets a lot of people involved. We're trying to do like a mini, mini festival kind of, like just bands. Uh, we're going to do, you know, face painting for the kids, you know, different kind of games out there. We're going to block the parking light off and uh, you know, have German style food. Yeah. I call it Oktoberfest, but just time of year and everything just to kind of tie along with the season and pumpkin painting and stuff like that, just to kind of have a little daytime Florence, you know, event for, for me now. And um, you are going to have it in the back parking lot there yep. behind it. You can use the whole parking lot? Or no, only about, say there's, I think, 60 spaces, degrees, about the first 40 or 35 or something like that. And could you describe the area where you intend the service of alcohol? Uh, that's so, there's a map there. I, I, put into the, you'll see on the, right along the left side, off the little fences next to the parking lot that adjoins uh, the post office, back of the post office. Um, right okay. there we'll put a little uh, beer truck. So you put a beer truck at? Um, Pretty much right in the middle of facing the short way. Mm -hmm. And then the area for service of alcohol? It'll be right there, all in one. It's just basically a trailer that has like three draft beers in it, and then next to it would be a, just a wine, a bottle of beer and wine uh, station. And the, um, uh, do you have uh, servers from your own place? Yes, myself, my wife, okay. and a couple other people all fully certified. And uh, the, uh, uh, what sort of uh, provision are you making for checking ages and wristbands so, or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, wristbands, there's only one way in because we're going to block off the back side where the parking lot is going to be, you know, still open in the back, but that'll be blocked off with fencing. There's natural fencing with bushes along one side and there's a guardrail on the other side, so we're just basically, there's like a, maybe a eight to ten foot spot where we're going to post two people that are going to let, you know, people in or out, that's the only way in or out, um, fully uh, carding uh, bracelets. All right. And you're going to use your usual distributor for this? Yeah. Okay. And I see that you've designated the St. Patrick's Association as yes. the charity. Any questions, Brian? <coughs> How are you going to keep people uh, coming in and off of your establishment? So, so there's one door, there's one back door if you see on the map there, yeah. where there's going to be another person I have written on there who will only let, you know, because you have to use the bathrooms or whatever, so that person won't allow any, you know, whoever just to go in or out. And uh, there's going to be all plastic outside, so anything that inside, there's no plastic inside, so it'll be very easy to monitor where stuff comes from or whatever. Right. Um, and then the same thing with the other side is if, if they try to go in the front door, that person guarding the parking lot entrance to the event will also be, they won't be able to get past that person without the same credentials. So, so you're going to have just a designated area for uh, the, the wine and malt in, in the parking lot? Yes. So they're not going to be able to go in and out of the establishment? No. I see. No. <coughs> Saturday, is it on a Saturday? Yes. Yeah. So, are we missing anything? No. Uh, server's info wasn't checked. Uh, well, he just described it. I should have server's. Check it in the front. Yeah, this oh, is okay. Uh, That's fine. It wasn't checked online, so I just wanted to double check. So, uh, the same servers that work in the bar? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, anyone want to make a motion on this? I'll move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, good luck. Okay, item number eight, uh, application for a new all-alcohol inholder license per Commonwealth of Massachusetts Chapter 126, Acts of 2014. Hollow Management Incorporated, DBA, Fairfield Inn & Suites. Mr. Gallagher, how are you? Thank you, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm also Gallagher uh, from Canada. So, um, 
we have the application here. Um, so tell us what um, uh, the, the place will look like, the area of the ho new hotel that will uh, provide service of alcohol. Just tell us a little bit about the restaurant, hotel, bar, yeah. and okay. Well, uh, it is a limited uh, service hotel, which is uh, basically the rooms. And the only uh, food being served, uh, it is the breakfast, and also if we have a, a little bit of uh, like a small group uh, get together, uh, we will provide the food uh, from whether from the, the hotel, Northampton here, or just uh, someone to bring uh, to almost like a takeout from the other, other places. So it doesn't have a restaurant per se, but there is a, a little market, uh, which the name of it is Corner Market, uh, which will be all the, the small essentials, the knickknacks and that type of stuff being sold. And there are some food items that uh, for guests who are arriving late, they uh, are hungry, they don't, they don't have any food or there is not any restaurant open, they can buy those from like almost like a TV dinner to uh, bag of chips or uh, candy bar, you know, that type of stuff uh, they can have. And uh, also, uh, uh, half bottle of wine and beer uh, will be sold uh, along with the bar that uh, initially it wouldn't be open, but later on when the hotel gets busy, uh, it will be open to serve the alcohol. And uh, this is only like to serve the guests of the hotel mainly. And uh, there is a patio outside uh, that it is uh, a small size as you know, this room almost a little bit smaller uh, patio area that they can consume and also the lobby area. Uh, that would be the consumption for the alcohol. So um, it's basically a hotel bar without a restaurant intended for the use of guests in the hotel. Yes. But um, the public should be able to walk in off the street and still use. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. if it is open, absolutely. Yeah. And um, let me see. Um, is there also a point for a comment that comes into it? No, it's in fact. Okay. All right, it's on the agenda. Oh, I'm sorry. They yeah, wrote, I have a comment that they didn't hold it. Okay, I was looking for mm -hmm. printed stuff. Mm -hmm. I know it's okay. Um, okay, and. Um, do we have everything we need on this, Cindy? Um, and, uh, prepare to send this to the ABCC if we yeah. decide to do so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the convict and the angles are in the back. So, okay. so we have a, um, uh, a a couple of things here. We have a restaurant um, alcohol uh, inholder license, especially authorized by the law. Um, we also have, um, the, um, 16 C findings just from the Smith College, and we got that in the cards, right? Yeah. We'll have a 16 C finding, and then, um, so here, if you want to look at any of this, and if you have any questions. Well, I'll just clarify. I'm, I'm thinking, not to do any free advertising, but I'm sort of thinking of Hampton Inn mm -hmm. when you talk about a limited service yes. environment. Um, only instead of, because uh, they have something like that, you, mm -hmm. you get in late and yeah. you know, there's food and yeah. bottled water and, and no beer or wine. Um, not that I have ever seen. Yeah. So, Some do. Yes, some, some do. do. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's variable in the industry. Yes. yes. And, well, actually, um, uh, the Hilton Garden uh -huh. in Springfield, they yep. have. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's very it, again yeah. chains yeah. have different franchises yeah. and people with different yeah. things. I just wanted to mm. get a sense in my mind. Yeah. You know how everything's going to look. Yeah. Um, how about uh, my concern is always, you know, miners. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna have alcohol, wine, and beer. You're gonna have an outside patio. You know, how do we make sure that you know somehow kids are? Um, uh, well, um, uh, good question. Uh, first of all, the, the alcohol wouldn't be available for people to go grab. Okay. It will be under the locked door. And uh, if um, 
guest arrives and they want to have a, a bottle of beer or whatever, um, the person who is going to go open the door and so on, they will be certified. Uh, okay, that's what I needed to, yeah, yeah, I needed to understand that. that. And then in the event that if you have a small group, you want to have just them to you know, cater them for alcohol or whatever, of course the bartender will be all certified and you know, professional bartender. Great. Yeah. Thank you for, for bringing me up to speed on that. Thanks. Thank you. We have um, this uh, location is um, is within uh, 500 feet of an educational or spiritual facility. We have sent out the cards and heard no response from anyone. So uh, I will take a motion that uh, this does not um, uh, adversely impact uh, the activities of any educational or spiritual organization in the city. And we'll make that motion. 16C finding. I would be happy to make the motion, but could you tell me what educational is for spiritual? Smith College is. It's actually just their um, treasurer's office, but because it was led by Smith College and ABCC, we'll see that and have to put it through as a. So oh, okay, because I was student. trying to think of what. There's no church. There's no church or school that There's I could think of. A tiny bit of Smith. Wow. So. Okay. So we need a 16C motion. Um, I'll make a uh, will move to grant the 16th motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, let us then next take the uh, common vitriol license. Um, I have no questions on that unless anybody else does. I'll make a motion that we approve the common vic license for the new fair for the suites. Second. Okay. And then um, we have um, the all alcohol license. Now, as we know, this was. We need to vote. I mean, you, we have a we have a motion and a second. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Moving too fast. All in favor of the common vic license? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. Then um, we have a um, uh, application here for a all alcohol license that is expressly uh, permitted by a special act of the legislature this year. This uh, license can only exist under the terms of the legislation at 115 Conn Street. It can't be moved. Um, Mr. Gallagher cannot sell it to anybody else, cannot be transferred to anybody intending to move the, the uh, license off this premise. If somebody else uh, should buy the inn um, from Mr. Gallagher, then Obviously, it would be um, still permitted by the legislation to keep operating the license there. But the terms of this are um, uh, hedged in by the yeah. language. And of course, you know that. But I'm just stating it here for uh, the record that this license is only good for 115 Conn Street and no other practice, yeah. unlike any other license that I think we have here. So uh, that being said, um, uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve, under the terms of the special act, uh, this new all alcohol inholder license. Make a motion to approve under special legislation the all alcohol license. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And we all have to sign the form 43 for the ABCC. So this will. Any inholder? There's a separate inholder license that you just have to approve. Ah. Okay. Where's the Okay, right. So it's a lodging, in Holder, a lodging house. We do this so rarely, I forgot. Um, okay, the um, fee is here. Uh, do we need a copy of the deed or the lease agreement? We have it all. We have it all, okay. And the, um, since it's still under construction, we have nothing from the building commissioner, but contingent upon the Board of Health and the Building Commissioner, I would suggest the inholder license. Um, so I'll make a motion uh, to do so. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 So 
when you get the uh, building commissioner sign off and the board of health sign off, the license will be good. If for some reason you don't get that, obviously you, you can't operate as an inholder. Um, did we cover everything? I think so. Okay. Okay, so this will go to the ABCC, and you'll hear back from them. Right. Okay, good luck. So when exactly do you plan to open? And when do you plan to open the bar? Hopefully by the end of this month or beginning of September. Uh -huh. And uh, trying to have the license and so on in order to have the little opening celebration, uh, which all of you are welcome to come and um, to operate it and set up all right. of those. And you're going to be the manager of record there for the thing. I know yes. you're a very busy yes. man. If you decide <coughs> yes. yeah, I, to I make somebody else a manager, you'll have to come back. And absolutely, yeah. yeah. It, it, I'm going to overlook at both hotels, but each one will have a manager. We actually hired the general manager a uh, month and a half, almost two months ago. Uh -huh. And he's, uh, he's a person who was trained in Marriott hotels. Uh, so he's done operated and he's very knowledgeable. And uh, today, in fact, we had the front office manager and maintenance person to just come in to get trained and all of that. So trying to hire the employees in Stagia. Right. But by the first week of September, we better have our, our staff. And you know this from, since you've had this other place for so long, but uh, to you, all your servers should be certified as soon as possible. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Whenever you settle all that, yeah. whenever you want. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Thanks. Right. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Sometimes you start out if the servers are sure. 
are signed up for service and for tips, then you know, go ahead as long as they're making an effort to get everybody certified. But we like to ask the manager, the proposed manager, for their um, their background in service at the mall and other sorts of things. So, okay, so right now, I would favor moving the this off. Um, key or five. It's, uh, she is she is not trained at this point, or is no. she? It's Ms. Kang, right? Yes. Okay. Um, we have everything else we need, right? Right. Okay. However, um, you know, I, I believe that we should, you know, we should hold this over till, till the next. That, that was what we Ms. have Kang. to have them come back. My question. Uh, we don't have to. We have the discretion to approve this okay. now, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm thinking uh, of holding this over for a month. Uh, Tell me what you think. When when will she be taking over her responsibilities? Uh, first September class is, I believe, just before the September meeting right here. <coughs> so I think you say if uh, September six is the Wednesday, I think it's September four is a Monday. Okay, so she won't be starting work until after she goes to the class. Correct. Yeah. Then I think it makes sense for for everyone to just for us to introduce ourselves and to meet her. I think that makes all kinds of sense. Okay, I agree. Yeah. Okay, one more question. Yes. Since uh, former manager is here, do you have any question, advice, Regan? Does he have to be here again for September meeting? Uh, no, there's no requirement for you to be here for the September meeting. Uh, we're really interested in the new manager if you have other things to attend to. Um, uh, the restaurant's fine. I mean, it serves wine and malt, and we've never had any any issue come up no. about it. So no. uh, there's nothing I think that we need to ask of, of you. So, okay. um, so if, yeah. If Ms. Kang can, can be here, that would, that would be what we'd like. So we'll put this on the agenda for the September meeting, okay? Okay. Sorry, I all had to come no, in. No, sorry. Okay. okay. All right, thank, thank you. you, though. Okay. Okay, item number 10, application for transfer of license and change of location for annual all-alcohol restaurant license. 004, um, the current license holder, West S Corporation, 298 Main Street. Uh, they wish to move this license to 2628 Center Street, DBA, the Green Room. Uh, proposed manager, Eric Sewer, Mr. Sewer. Uh, we discussed this last month. Um, so I think we know, you know what you want to do and why you want to do it. Yes. Um, and we have expressed our concern about the operation of this license, uh, you know, being commenced forthwith. Mm -hmm. So uh, that being said, uh, let me ask: uh, Do we have all the application materials from you? Yes, I believe okay. so. And you got everything that you think you needed on your end for whatever corporate yes. purposes, and you got you got the board health. Yes, there's a okay. certificate. Uh, okay. What and pay the ABCC and everybody else. Yes. Um, uh, let me um, let me pass this on then to my fellow commissioner to take a look. Uh, 
Um, do you have any questions for Mr. Stewart? Is there going to be service of the food in there? Or? Uh, yes. The, the green room? The green room? Is, is it just bar type food. Bar type food. Not a full kitchen. It's just a limited, just limited food service is what we're permitted for. Okay. I, I'm, I'm looking for the At least for the time being. We might look to expand that, but for the time being, it's just going to be limited food service. Is the kitchen in uh, the Iron Horse, or? Yes, we have a kitchen area in here as well, but not for no recently in cooking. Change in your plans for Center Street since we spoke last month? No. Everything was submitted as previously discussed. What are your uh, proposed uh, days and hours of operation? Tuesday through Sunday. We were looking at Tuesday through Saturday, but we think we're going to go Tuesday through Sunday. We're deciding on, on Sunday at this point, closed on Monday. Uh, would you be open anytime the Iron Horse is open, or it doesn't matter, not time? Well, the matter. Iron Horse, other than Summer, which is spotty, is typically seven days a week, other than some of the major holidays. Even some of those are open. Um, I think we're going to have the set hours, so depending upon what would be at the Iron Horse on a night that we might be closed, we're probably just going to stick with the set hours for now. And then we'll see how that develops. I'm almost there. Okay. Trying to be a slow reader. No, 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 no. Take your time. And um, you will be the proposed manager? Yes. Um, there will be, at some point in the early fall, once everything is up and running, I'll bring somebody in that will be a, we'll, we'll do a change of manager, but I'm going to oversee the initial, initial opening. I can't recall. As will the Iron Horse manager next door as well. So, But we'll, we'll have a full-fledged manager that we will come forward probably in October. I'm sorry, you, you are the manager of the Iron Horse? Yes. If there's a, well, yes, I'm the manager of record for the liquor license at the Iron Horse. We have a full time manager that's there, a full time assistant manager as well. Everybody is served safe, tip trained. Right. Right. All the servers, everybody. Pearl Street's the same. Every, 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 yes, you're, every, you're the manager there in record. Yes, everybody is, um, everybody is tip, tip certified at all the venues. Okay. So I see that you're approved to operate. I've gone through everything, it looks copacetic. When will you? Um, when will you be opening for business, I guess? Well, it depends. We will get the license from the ABCC. It will probably take several days to just get our liquor ordered because we can't order any product um, until we receive the license. And we're, we'll be set to go. So my sense is by early September. And it usually takes how slow the ABCC okay. Yeah, we've got our occupancy permit, the Board of Health permit, although once um, once we open, they want to come through again for a final. Uh, but we've got our, our preliminary permit. We've got fire department permits. Uh, all of the permits are all set to go. Thank you. More to the point, though, um, how soon after you get the word back from the ABCC? Well, I would say as long as it takes us just to get the product in. I mean, we need to know. How long does that take? You, you, you're in this business. Two days. Um, but, but we want some time to advertise that we're actually open. So once we get an indication, we typically get an indication with the inspector for the ABCC as to how long cause they take it. They usually come in and visit. Right. And then it's usually two weeks from that point. So once we get that indication, we can advertise. We'll know it's forthcoming. It's usually just a few days to get product in. So if the ABCC gives you the um, uh, word and gives us the word on Monday, mm -hmm. yes, we approve this uh, transfer of this license, um, you could be... You, you, there's no way you would not be fully operational serving service and alcohol within two weeks. No way, yes. We're going to open it hopefully sooner than that, but we would say a week from when we get the license. Then okay. I'll just start the discussion here. I would suggest that if we vote to approve this transfer that we set uh, a timetable of two weeks from the date of ABCC approval reaching us and the licensee um, to commence a service on alcohol. That's my suggestion. So I'll go back to discussion now. 
think that's Actually, reasonable. As, as long as he can get product in, I think that's reasonable. Right. So it's a Monday, two Mondays, hence yes. the yeah. drinks are being served. Yes, we discussed that at the last meeting. I'm, I'm fine with that. Thank you. All right. Uh, Brian, your thoughts? Uh, unless anybody else has any other questions for Mr. Sir, since we did discuss this extensively at the last meeting and we've now established that the place will be in operation uh, uh, very soon after ABCC approval then. Um, and we have no, I understand that uh, no other city department or mayor's office or anyone else has any objection to this proceeding. Yeah. Okay. Then. Um, I will, um, I will make a motion then uh, to approve the transfer license and change the location for uh, annual all alcohol restaurant license 004 from 298 Main Street to 2628 Center Street to the Green Room. You're going to vote with the same motion? I'm sorry, I forgot. We need this 16C finding too. Right, so it's two separate. The change of location and the transfer license are two separate. Uh, Okay. Okay. All right. We need. Um, you're right. I, I was trying to do it with one. So before, but let me see. All right. Then let me make a motion for the transfer of license of uh, 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 298 Main Street, 2628 Center Street. Right here. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'll further make a motion for a change of location. Um, 298 Main Street to 2628 Center Street. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We also need have a 16C finding here. Um, we have um, sent cards to the First Church of Christ Scientists, the Unitarian Church, First Congregational Church, and we have not received any, any word back that they uh, have any concerns over this. So I will need a motion that the uh, proposed location does not uh, adversely impact any spiritual educational activities in, within 500 feet. I'll move that uh, such that. motion be granted. <laughs> All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Um, that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, we'll, Cindy will hear, we'll hear. Yes, great. Yeah. Um, it'll, it'll be going and you'll you'll be prepared to start advertising yes. immediately mm -hmm. uh, and buying, buying the booze and all that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you. thank you, Thanks. Mr. Seward. Thank you. license from the city, if you're going to serve pizza, you need, obviously, Board of Health. No. You, know, yeah, I, I you need a common fixture license from us. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, do we have an application for Mr. Fernandez? I don't. Can I give you my phone number and you can call me tomorrow morning? Sure. You have yeah. to yeah. fill an application. Yeah. And Safina, 50 bucks. The previous one, he just told me to be here for the meeting. He didn't tell me what was going to be. Oh, no. Happen. You have to fill out an application. And then if we have the application, we're looking at it. And then you told us what you're doing. We could approve, we would approve it. Then. Oh, okay. It's called a conviction license. Well, he didn't tell me anything. He told just go for the meeting. Just... People call it a common dick. It costs 50 bucks, right? I think it is. Yeah, it's 50 bucks. Uh, talk to Cindy. She'll, she'll give you the application. Fill it out. Right in the uh, building? I'm actually in City Hall, right yeah. in the mayor's office. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you can yeah. come see me if you want. Where's, where's your place? It's in there, Florence, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Main Street. Where are we? 59? 59 Main Street. That's why you like. like is, it, is, that, is that where the appliance store was? Or is it right where the Cumberland Farms is? It's, uh, yeah, yeah. It's in that little street. Next street. Like and... Oh, okay. That's 59. Yeah. yeah. You're across the street from the Friendlies. From the Friendlies, yeah. Right there. Okay. Yeah. So you're either Isn't there in a Greek pizza place there or something? He's a Italian pizza. What's the name of the one? The Stars Pizza. Yeah, we're not planning to change any name, just going to run it as a reason. Okay. Oh, okay. I know. I know. It's actually it's a church guy right now. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, and then uh, the, the one I bought him was this uh, it's a Spanish guy. He helped me out today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just right. started, so. Okay, well, good luck. You need a common Vic. You need the Board of Health. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. Thank you. We'll see you next meeting. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other new business? Um, I don't know if it's new business. It's old business, really. It's just a continuation. Did we get any anything from the city solicitor on, on the question about lottery? Um, did we hear back from Alan on that? I read through all the, the notes from that. Mm -hmm. um, meeting and it didn't seem like it, it, I remember him saying that right. that wasn't an issue that we could do that if we wanted to solely. You know, I didn't. I didn't. I, I, didn't, I asked him. I asked him passing, and but I, I should. I should have a more formal conversation with him. I'll do that if you want, or if you want to talk An to him. An email. It doesn't have to be okay. a formal memo. I'm not asking for a lot, but I think we ought to have something. Basically, I mean, I just don't feel. Okay, so uh, opinion from the city solicitor. Just an email. It's just simply saying I don't see that, that this is outside your your authority. That's all. Okay. All right. Then I will, I I look at that. I'll call Alan okay, that's, uh, tomorrow. That's, that's and, all I would like. For. And uh, make sure that we have that. So the um, the applications are coming in, Cindy, for that license. I haven't gotten any applications yet. It's just like ask for. For the information, okay. okay. And our deadline remains September second. So, have we set up actually? As this is the actual dates. That help me out on that one because I, I somehow yeah, did not write them down. Yeah, we had two dates. We were going to. I remember, appear. and for yeah. some reason, I can't. I can't remember the dates. Yeah, we 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 we, we talked about having two dates, and it seemed to be okay. Can we look at them again? Make sure it's still yeah, yeah, that's that's one of those things where it'd be good. It, my my September has become kind of crazier than I thought it would be. Oh, I just see. All right,
may, depending on the number of applications we get, it may only be one day. We could can. We'll see it. We'll see on on the third of September how many we have. So what? Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, you know, this is this is my apologies to both of you. I'm just looking here. I have to be in Boston for an 11 o'clock on the 22nd. So we're starting at four. There's a possibility I'll be back, but I might be late. Uh, let's keep in touch, and perhaps we could move it back. Make it an evening. The 23rd is, is wide open, it's still fine. Okay. If you'd be back for the evening, we could. Can we change it to five? I think I booked the room for one more That would be wonderful. Uh, but Boston traffic is, is Boston traffic. It's a show. So the 22nd, we can change to five. That gives me a, a real shooting. Yeah. All, right. All right, well, let's see how. Anything else about that uh, process that has come up that we need to think about? No? No. Go on this plan? It is, and I got a little call from the Chamber of Commerce today that they're sending more information out again. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, any other business?